demonstration of a marine diesel engine fuel injector. First, let's discuss the parts of the fuel injector. First, we have this um, opening pressure adjusting screw where you can set or adjust the opening pressure or timing of the injector when to release the fuel oil and what pressure need to be set by tightening or uh, releasing the tension of the spring. Then we have the um, spring, we have the nozzle assembly together with the needle valve and chamber. Here we have a sample of a nozzle assembly. This is the tip of the nozzle where holes are located and where the fuel goes out in an atomized condition. This is your needle valve and this is your fuel line where fuel enter the nozzle to your chamber. And this is your needle valve. So we talk about now how this is how this injector works. So as your high pressure fuel oil pump delivers a high pressure fuel oil, it goes to your injector, travel to this line, to this line, and to your nozzle assembly where your needle valve is resting in your chamber and being pushed by the tension of the spring. Now, to overcome the spring, the fuel oil pump should keep on pumping fuel oil to build up pressure in your chamber and then this needle valve will tend to move up due to the high pressure of your fuel oil. And then by this, the tension of the spring or the pressure of the spring will be overcome by the pressure of the fuel oil and this creating a small narrow or the chance to escape for the fuel oil through this line in a very high pressure state and with this it will skate to your nozzle tip and to your uh, holes on your nozzle then it will go out as an atomized condition and then creating a combustion to your cylinder so basically that's how fuel injector works So what are the requirements to create a combustion? We need the three elements of fire and these are oxygen, heat, and fuel. With all these elements, therefore we can create a combustion. Here we have a basic illustration of how a four-stroke diesel engine works. So as the piston moves down and intake valves are open, it draws fresh air into the cylinder. As the piston moves up and all valves are closed, it starts compressing the air in the cylinder. Remember that volume and pressure are inversely proportional. So as the piston moves up, it compresses the air and reducing the volume of the cylinder. The air will start generating heat due to extreme pressure by compression. And with this condition, the engine has already met the two requirements of combustion which are heat and oxygen. Now, this where fuel injector plays out by sending fuel oil into the cylinder at the right time in an atomized condition to complete the three elements of fire and generating combustion. So after combustion, piston will move down due to the rapid expansion after combustion. Then the piston will move to another cycle and exhaust valves are open to expel exhaust gases out of the cylinder. Then the cycle will be repeated. First, remove the cover 
and lose the connection between the connection piece and the high pressure pipe. Then remove the leak line of your high pressure pipe. Lose the connection between high pressure pipe and high pressure pump. Then remove the high pressure pipe. Lose the leak line for your connection piece. Then lose the nut bolt of your connection piece flange then remove your connection piece remove the stud for your cylinder head cover then remove the cup of your injector now use the special tools for extracting out the fuel injector First, release the nut of your adjusting screw. Then release the tension or the pressure of your spring. Then remove the cup nut of your nozzle. Then remove nozzle. Remove the adjusting screw. Then remove all parts from inside and clean it very carefully now assembling time check all parts from wear and tear if all parts is okay, then start assembling. First, the push rod. Make sure that the tip of the push rod is going out on the tip of the injector. Otherwise, it is not in position. Then check the spring. And then the spring guide. Here you have a groove should be matched together with the pin inside the injector otherwise this uh, spring guide will not fit inside. Then check if it really fits. Check 
check that the tip of the push rod is still sticking out out of the injector tip then put oil inside don't forget the o-ring on the adjusting screw check the nozzle itself check the ceiling surface you have two pin two pins for the correct fitting of the nozzle There should be no clearance when you t try to fit the nozzle in between. Otherwise, if there is clearance, there's a possibility that it will not be seated in a very good position. When you measure the tools, measure it from the turning point and to the handle, center of the handle. Make sure to close the bypass valve and open the air supply. Notice that all spray pattern are all the same, that all holes are all okay. There should be no pressure in the fuel injector when you test and when you test the whole test. Now start adjusting the pressure to the nozzle operate nozzle opening pressure. Slowly adjust the tension of the spring until you reach 440 bars.
Remember that the spray pattern of the injector is highly affected by the viscosity of the oil you used. In this test, the nozzle should be able to hold the fuel oil without any droplets. When you hear the clicking sound of the torque wrench, then you should have reached the proper torque. Don't forget to put oil to the fuel injector. And before installing the injector to your cylinder head, make sure that the sleeve of the injector is cleaned. Make sure that this pin fits to the groove of the cylinder head. Then tighten it with prescribed torque. Then install the stud for cover of cylinder head. And after that, check all parts if it's clean and know anything for an object inside the cover of cylinder head then you can put back the cover always use lubrication GN plus on the thread When the flange is close enough to the thread hole, put the bolts already so that later on you will not be in trouble installing this one. Then tighten the connection piece with prescribed torque. Install the leak line of the connection piece. Tighten the securing bolts. Tighten 
try to type both connection equally so that you will not have trouble in fitting this pipe. Then tighten it with the prescribed torque. Then lastly connect the leak line of your high pressure pipe. And that's it guys. Thank you.